We are the lab doctors. I'm Amanda. I'm Dorothy. And I'm Zhao Yong. We are biomedical researchers who realize we still have a lot to learn about science. So why not join us on this quest? Hey everyone, welcome back to the podcast. If you're new, Today in Science or TIS episodes are the ones where we discuss science or science-y topics. But honestly, science is everywhere, which may be why we came up with this format in the first place, for us to talk about whatever we want. So today we will be talking about... Essentially, nothing. <laughs> we have nothing planned because May well, we is... Well, uh, yeah, we have stuff planned. Yeah, we had planned. We had stuff planned. But because of the recent... Um, Tighter restrictions. Heightened alert. Yeah. Basically, we have to shift stuff so we can't do them anymore. Um, so look forward to it. Hopefully, sometime soon, we'll get to do it. But right now, we just want to check in with everyone, you know, check, see how everyone is feeling from ourselves. the heightened alert and COVID. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Check in with, <laughs> like just us. Yeah, but you know, if this is a format that y'all like or enjoy, y'all like to hear about our lives for some reason, I guess y'all can let us know what we <laughs> yeah, can stop do rubbish. this every, every month. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I hope we'll y'all see. like this. Yeah, hopefully it isn't just a waste of your time. Actually, it's good because like, honestly, oh, uh-huh. like on, since I changed lab, I'm yeah. not like seeing y'all every day anymore. Mm. It would be nice to hear like how y'all are doing. True, true. I just get like the chats every day that like there's delivery in lab and like <laughs> <laughs> I just close the chat. <laughs> yeah. It's like, can someone open the door, please? The lab <laughs> is forwarded to my phone. <laughs> and, and, and then like sometimes our friend in the PM shift like needs help and I'm like sorry I can't meet you to like teach you stuff in the previous yeah, lab yeah. because you're in PM shift and we're in different labs. It's a struggle for sure. This AM PM shifting, yeah. Oh honestly I like to listen to podcasts where people talk about their lives. I guess because you know sometimes you're so sucked into your own life yeah. that you forget there's a I mean for me I forget there's a world out there so sometimes I like to live vicariously <laughs> whether it doesn't have to be anything extravagant sometimes honestly th- hearing about the mundane details about other people's life is very reassuring for me yeah so, because it, it makes you feel like everyone is going through some kind of yeah. you know crappiness in their lives right yeah Cool. So I guess, yeah, how's life? Oh, okay. So one of the measures that uh, affects the three of us is that now we're currently on AM and PM shifts. Yeah. So we're on split team. Yeah. But instead of uh, week to week or day to day, because generally experiments, need we need to come in almost ev- like every ideally day. every day. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very day. hard to split day to day. So yeah. what, we, what, what we have to do is AM and PM shift. Yeah, so it happened to be that the three of us are in AM shift. And honestly, the previous uh, time that there was a lockdown, the three of us were actually in a team together. <laughs> like yeah, just right, the right. Of us. in the same lab, in the same shift. <laughs> yeah, and there, were no, there was no one else in our lab that was in this shift. Yeah, but now again, we are all in the AM shift. Yeah. So yeah, how have you guys been going with that? I remember like when I was in the previous lab, we came, I came in at 6 AM to start work. Because if not, I cannot finish. But right. now, like, I come in at 7 because that's the latest starting time. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how I did it at 7 last, <laughs> at 6 a.m. last time because I'm so tired every morning. And I'm just still watching shows at night <laughs> at 12 or after 12. So every morning, I regret my life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, like, the AM shift was never really much of a struggle because I always slept early thanks to... Army. Yeah, I think that was that was one of the main drivers for me. And and like before this I've already been coming to lab at like what six thirty, seven yeah, you are crazy. Every, every day. Yeah. So it's not really an issue for the AM shift. It's thing. good though, there's so few people on public transport yeah, and that, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. main reason for not yeah. going on. I mean even before the pandemic. I already hated crowds to start off with because there's just too many unknowns, too many people. Oh my gosh, have I told you guys the reason that I like to come early yeah. in the morning? I think so. I, I, I'm I, not I too feel sure. like I have. But basically, yeah. it's because if anything happens to me, someone will find me two hours later oh. as opposed to me staying late in the lab. <laughs> right. And then if something happens to me at 10pm, you'll only find me the next morning. No, but if you right, come right, at right. normal yeah. timings, people will find you also. And if you leave at normal yeah, timings... But you know, you... You can't really... Sometimes you can't really finish everything. So yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. that the buffer, for me, is safer to just come in the morning and not stay late 
it's, it's just like, an irrational fear that I have. And also because our lab has windows as well, so I can tell when it's dark out. Yeah. yeah. And even though the lights are on, I'm still scared. No, no, no. And also the sound of the machines and equipment. But it's, it's very true though, because the lab, as much as it's, you know, very tabletop-based kind of things, there can be still a lot of things that go wrong. Yes. Mm. And so, yeah, yeah that's Freak one accidents. of my fears also, because we have this cold room inside the labs where it's four, four degrees. degrees. So basically, it's basically normal, a big fridge. Yeah, normal fridge temperature, but yeah. it's like a walk-in fridge, right? Mm. Yeah. So if you get locked inside, you might end up <laughs> freezing to death or something. And that's my biggest fear. Like I'm holding onto the door there, trying there to get out. And then someone there, opens the door and my body just collapses. Yeah. Every time you tell me this story, depressed. okay. <laughs> Yeah, but I know it's like our our safety orientation. You need to go and like press the button to, to at least know how to do it, right? But every time I'm like, what if my hands just get so frozen? That I can't press yeah. You only need like one second to press that button. I don't know. Okay, what if I hit my head or something or something? I don't know. I'm more scared yeah. of the centrifuge. Oh, the centrifuge yeah. is like sure. this thing that spins at high speed. And if you are there in the morning by yourself, yeah. and if it like if something goes wrong and, and, and the thing that flies out just hits you or penetrates your body, I, oh I feel God. like I'll just... Yeah. It just scares me all time of the day. But I'll find you. Yeah. In yeah, but you really mean, uh, uh, oh, wait, it's okay. You come early. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. is that at least you'll be found soon. So I, I get what oh, Amanda right. is trying to say about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like someone would come and might be able to save you, you know? Yeah, But yeah, then yeah. if you stay late, it's like they would only find maybe your body. Next morning. <laughs> Yeah. I, I know it's a bit of an irrational fear, but yeah, I'm sticking to it. I'm, I'll just be a morning person. I'm good with that. Yeah, they have yeah. So AM three for me is pretty good. Also, yeah. I, I think it's better. I'm yeah. I'm more productive as well. Yeah. And then like having to finish everything, and then having the time in the afternoon to check emails, do all the yeah. computer stuff. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely prefer AM to PM lah. Yeah. I I have to say it's a lot more stressful though. Yes. Do yeah. you think so? Yeah. Yes, I'm always Especially panicking at 12 or 1. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. our shift ends at 1.30 and yeah, I'm always panicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think especially for us, like, because we are quite ganjong people and we don't really, really like breaking the rules, Gan I have Jong to say. Ganjong being <laughs> anxious yes. is yeah. anxious, anxious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's just a bit more stressful for me, I have to say. Yeah, yeah super. I'm, oh my goodness, anxiety levels. Yeah. So high. Yeah, speaking of anxieties, we wanted to also talk about maybe a bit of what we do outside of work. And I can only think of Netflix shows because I guess I'm single and I don't really have a life. <laughs> and Disney Plus, Disney Plus. Oh, and Disney Plus. Yes, yes, yes. Disney Plus. Oh, Disney Plus is... Yes. My whole new world. Really? Oh, yes. Pun intended. <laughs> yeah. I actually have a few shows to recommend if y'all are okay, interested. Okay, and I must say, Zhao Yong is yeah. quite good at recommending because um, I think he consumes so much content <laughs> that he he kind of knows what you would want. Yeah. And what you... As in, you, you can tell him, okay, I, I'm looking for this kind of show and he would know because he's consumed basically all I've the consumed- content. Too much content. He doesn't really go out. Like, even before the pandemic, he doesn't really go out. So I think... Yeah, but... Well, okay, I, I don't like... always go out so much. My yeah. tongue is, is like, it... just at home all I don't the time. know when he finds yeah, the but... time. He'll come back on Monday and he'll say, oh, I finished one season of this. Yeah. And I'm always saying, when? How? Okay, okay. But, but the thing about it is, okay, it's not like I'm agoraphobic, but my point is, when you go out, it's so troublesome. Like... It's you so have tiring. To dress up, and then after that, it's so damn hot all the time in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> and then if it's not hot, then it's rainy, and then you need to wear like slippers or something. Uh, it's just, it, 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 there's like so many things to consider. And then after that, it's like, oh, what am I gonna do when I go out? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so it's like, okay, like, let's hear it. Let's hear it. We interrupt this podcast for a short message by the editor. Hey everyone, so Zhao Yong here. I realized that I kind of rambled on and on about shows and it wasn't very interesting so I'm gonna cut it all out. Also, I just watched this new show called How To with John Wilson. Um, it's way better than anything that I've recommended so far so check that out. Anything else, hit me up. Now back to your regularly scheduled podcast episode, I guess.
if you want us to talk about more in-depth feels on <laughs> all these things, do let us and know And whether we should well. start a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you all want to pay to hear all our opinions of shit? <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about the Korean stuff. Yeah, If you're interested. Well. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you want, right, you can DM us and say what you kind of are looking for. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pressure is on Zhao Yong. <laughs> no worries, <laughs> there will be something. So what have you all been doing, though? Amanda? Oh. <laughs> Mine's super boring. Actually, I've I've just been really busy with work <laughs> since this all started, oh, so I haven't really man. had time to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of kind of sad actually. Yeah, so I just spend most of the day working. The the one thing that I got into, um, when I have my downtime is. Uh, the YouTube algorithm oh praise the YouTube algorithm <laughs> basically <laughs> yes. recommended me this channel Mike's Mike it's this I guess mid 20s guy living in Melbourne but basically he just talks to a mic <laughs> and his name is Mike what? and I, th- I think it's a very niche sense of humour but I don't know, I, I, I'm so enthralled by his videos and his ranking of... Yeah, his content is of, 10 out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> his ranking of all trashy his, things. All his content to me, his videos. Like random stuff? He talked about ram- random stuff? Super oh. random. Okay, so I think I, 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 I reached this peak of like, oh, I will literally watch him rank anything when I watch the video of him ranking yeah. the days of the month. Oh. So basically all he did was rank the numbers and I was so intrigued the whole time, the whole video. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, he catches your attention for the yeah. entire video. And all I wanted to know was, is my birthday in the yeah, higher rank? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> buffalo mozzarella for anyone wondering. But yeah, I think it's a yeah. very niche sense of humor. I don't know if I would really recommend it to everyone, but if you're interested, check it out oh my yeah. goodness and if he he has a podcast as well if he ever listens to this i would totally collaborate oh my god i have so much respect for him as well because he does it alone yeah so exactly. i don't know i without you guys i don't think i can do a podcast but nope, for yeah sure. nope. talking for such a long time like just by yourself it requires so much effort and i don't know maybe intelligence maybe i'm just not smart enough <laughs> but yeah that, that's what i've been doing working and getting into mike's mic and and his videos aren't that long actually so yeah yeah, yeah I, i'm i'm now in 2019 territory where he was at 1k sub I, subs i think yeah and he's doing a lot of baking and cooking and I, i'm just yeah I, I don't I yeah. don't get it. Maybe it's the it's stress relief for me. Like I said, I I like watching people's mundane lives and knowing yeah. that other people out there face the same thing that I do. Okay, anyway, so Dorothy, how about you? So I have been cooking because now I'm renting a place wow, for HDBs today. Wow, that's great. Yes, and I've been cooking. Um, there was I feel one... like that's like one of the most useful skills out there, cooking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for those who don't know, like. My family grew up without a stove in my house. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> my mother doesn't like to cook in our house because it gets oily. So I don't, I didn't have experiences like cooking or seeing people cook. And I'm really clueless. So I tried out one of like Amanda's recipe. <laughs> not really Amanda's recipe, but like... <laughs> this is not... <laughs> it's like just okay, classic how to cook. A general, a general Yeah, how recipe. to cook like ABC yeah. soup, which is like what? Yes. Um, oh, ABC soup. Corn yeah. with carrot and... I don't, potato I don't know and onion, generally potato. chicken or pork. Yeah. Onions. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, onions give it such a sweet flavor, man. You can't leave out the onions. Yeah, I chew in the onions as well, even though I don't like it. No. Okay. No. And it came okay. out nice, I yeah. would say. Moving on. I, I think it, yes. it tastes like what it's supposed I told to you. taste like. It's and easy. It, I was it's like, oh, it's easy. And onion convert now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so not. It's just, it's just it was cooked until it's, it's kind of like yum. I'm tired. It's oh, like, like it, 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 dis- it disintegrates. Yeah, yeah. It? Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. tasteless because all the flavor seeped into the soup that you are drinking. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a few other dishes, like there was extra potatoes in the house, so I tried like potato mince meat dishes, like some Chinese dish that you can order at Economic Rice Store. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, I just followed this ran- random recipe online and, and I think it turned out fine as well. I, I don't really have high standards, but it's edible and nice. <laughs> I, I will eat it again, I will cook it again. And I learned how to cook this vegetable from like my housemate uh-huh. with, it's just like wombok with oyster sauce and a bit of chili padi mm. right, right, so it yeah. brings out the, this additional flavour and it's so good I feel like I can eat it every other day yes, for, for someone who doesn't like vegetables yeah wow so yeah I'm, 
I'm all ready to have my own house. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Oh. I hope my parents don't listen to this. <laughs> Speaking of cooking, I actually tried this new recipe for like kind of vegan mac and cheese. So instead oh. of using milk, you use a milk substitute. So I've been getting into oat milk, which mm. I've never... I, I, because the most common milk substitute last time was al- almond milk, which I don't really like. And apparently it's not very good for the environment as well. Right, right. But oat milk, like unsweetened oat milk, actually is pretty good. I'm a convert now. Huh. So that's your milk substitute. And then the cheese substitute is um, nutritional yeast. So it's this like flaky powder thing that is very high in vitamin B12. And it comes out tasting like cheese. You, you do have to add a lot of other stuff, lah, but you can just Google it. I just followed some recipe on Google. So <laughs> yeah, that's one of the new things I've tried since lockdown. And it's really good. Other than anyway, that, like... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been scrolling Facebook as well because it's really nothing to do. And sometimes the things you see on Facebook are so weird and, right. and sometimes the comments yeah. on Facebook just make you angry. <laughs> Okay. All those keyboard warriors. But anyway, so yeah. I saw like just a few days ago, because now it's in heightened restriction, right? Yeah. For COVID, that someone was posted in Next um, wearing this respirator. Uh-huh. If y'all saw this picture, it's outside NTUC at Next. Um, I will post the picture on Instagram whenever. So basically, this respirator is called a uh, purified air prime respirator. Uh, I better know this term. Powered air purifying respirator. Yes. Oh my God. I was tested. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yes, that's what it's called it for. Uh, and we actually use it in like the biosafety level 3 labs. So these level 3 labs are one level higher from the normal labs that most people work in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in biosafety level 3, they do like COVID research. So they handle the live virus and stuff like that. Right. And so actually this powered air purifying respirator is super effective. I would say it's super effective against mm. viruses As compared in for to, protection. Yeah, for yeah. protection compared to your surgical mask. Or yeah, for sure. I guess N95 mask will work but it's more uncomfortable because it has to be fitted. So what is it actually? It's like, so if you saw the picture, it, you wear a hood on your head. It really look like mm. a mini octopus on your head. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's connected to this tube. So you actually look like an avatar. <laughs> like with the tail huh? behind. The blue things? Yeah. Uh, not really blue, but it's like there's a tube connecting from the hood oh, no, on no, no, your head. Oh, no, 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 as in avatar, oh, right, the blue right, right. things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah, I, I, hair, I'm right? seeing it now. And then yes. you, you wear a belt, which is connected to a filter. Yeah. Uh, and this filter is your HIPAA filter. So if you know, like, that's the one that filters out your stuff that you need to filter. Yeah. And it's powered on battery, so it can last maybe, like, six hours or maybe more, okay. I think. Yeah. And... It actually pumps like filtered air into your hood. So you, because the hood's over he- your head, you breathe in clean air. Yeah. You breathe in air that is, you know, you have viruses and whatever thing that is yeah, filtered yeah, yeah. out. So it's actually yeah, very safe, I would say. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be fitted. Mm. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, and then, so because I saw this picture and I was like, oh, I didn't know you can buy this outside. Yeah. Because <laughs> I only thought like you have to be... In the lab, you have something. to be a facility to yeah, buy yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. So on Facebook, the next picture was it cost a thousand hundred and forty eight dollars per set. It's the entire set that you need. Oh. Wow. And I was thinking, oh, is that how feasible is this? I mean, obviously it's pricey, and there's a few other things which we will go into. But like, let's say government <laughs> gives you money to buy this, and, uh-huh. and there's enough supply yeah. for the entire world. I would think it's super effective. And mm. you probably need to change the filter like every, I don't know, every six months. I'm not too sure. And, and it's like maybe 200. I just did a Google search. I don't yeah. know if it's correct. But but is it necessary, do you think, for everyday life? For, I feel like, I feel like, uh-huh. call me crazy, but I feel like it can at least make sure that the uh-huh. spread is, is controlled. And maybe then, you know, you would save a lot more on on hospitals having to like go through all these measures and stuff like that. Mm. So the costs incurred by hospitals would then go into purchasing these things and you would be damn safe. Because I, I would think that this suit is, this protective gear is super effective. Right. I don't know. As in effective for me, if you use it correctly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you thing is like, because it it's positively pressured, you are pumping air into this. So even if it's like a bit not fitted properly and stuff like that, it should be fine because uh, as long as it, it doesn't shut down when you're outside. Mm. Okay. 
yeah. but you see that's the thing for me I'm like I don't even I don't think this is necessary because I can yeah. just stay at home uh. all day every day but what if it's an airborne virus and it comes floating into your house <laughs> huh, so you have to I feel like at that point I feel like at that point I'm like okay yeah. fine like I will, I will just die I guess this is why I feel like it's to me it's like uh-huh. like there's a little bit of feasibility but I know it's not feasible at the same time and also because like when you go out you cannot eat yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh okay yeah for, for the current climate I guess it's, it's very good right yeah like you have to use it mm-hmm. once and one, one time good one for like a few months and then you're, you're safe and like everything goes down <laughs> Yeah, but it's only if the entire world does it, you know? Yeah, yeah. so there has to be enough yeah. supply, which is not possible. Uh. This is not yeah, cheap yeah, yeah. To, and easy to make. Yeah, which is sad. Because, I don't know, it's such a good engineering control. Yeah, mm. I, I feel extremely safe. Yeah. Okay, let me just clarify. Like, some people say, oh, this is useless. This, they're saying it's useless because she's not wearing the full bodysuit. Right. But the thing is, like, you just need to protect your, whatever you're, you're breathing in. Okay. And I guess you don't touch your touch things and then touch your eyes or whatever. So it's actually useful, I would say. And I don't know, not to be like a crazy paranoid person, but I feel like at least this person is trying to be safe. At least this person is trying to, mm. you know, prevent themselves from being infected or like, you know, all these things. So yes. I don't really think it's crazy, you know? I, I, I hope she has a good reason to. I mean, she can afford it, so good for her. Yeah, and for all we know, they might be immunocompromised. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's yeah. a lot of different things that can actually drive a person to be more risk-averse. I was yeah. like, holy yeah. shit, this is so cool because like, I, I would feel so embarrassed. Like, I would feel so out of place wearing it out. But, but nobody yeah, would yeah, see yeah. your face. No, you can see your face because it's a plastic sheet. Oh, right. Because you have It's to a see. bit like, um, I guess, in the start of the pandemic, when some people wore masks, when it wasn't mandatory in Singapore. Oh, right. You know, and some people wore it, and then you're like, oh, a bit paise, because, <laughs> I mean, a bit embarrassed, because uh, yeah, you, yeah, you I was. are wearing masks, and no one else is wearing it, and yeah. you feel like, oh, it's like, are you kiasu or yeah. something? I, I, felt I, like I don't the really think that's the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that's the case. But honestly. I did not hot mask. <laughs> 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 I mean, anyway, this is just my random thoughts on like, if it's ever feasible, it would be super effective. Yeah. But I definitely know it's not possible. Like, like think of people in hospitals, they can't wear it. You can't, you probably oh, can't right. hear the stethoscope. You can't eat right. in a communal setting and stuff like that. So, but um, this lady, kudos to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as in honestly, I, I don't see a problem with it. I, I don't see I don't think to she deserves hate if, yeah. if anything I think it's pretty yeah. cool yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I would say hi sure. to her if I was in next oh yeah huh. it's so near me I feel like I'll be like oh I know what this is <laughs> where do you buy oh. it from oh, I probably know where she buy it from like the brand but I didn't know it was available to the public <laughs> Yeah, so I, I I guess the last part um is exercise regimen because that's something that is heavily, you know, infected, inf- infected, affected? impacted Impact- by, yeah. <laughs> right. by the restrictions. You know, gyms are closed. Um, not that I go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, but in general, I think a lot of people are affected by this. So how has it affected you and has it affected you? For me, absolutely not because <laughs> I don't exercise. You don't swim <laughs> anymore though, right? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, I've completely stopped swimming. I've completely stopped ring fit. What? I'm, I'm just a fat sack. <laughs> don't see Netflix. that. <laughs> Netflix only. And game all the time. Overwatch, hit me up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Will you, no, watch no, no, us I, on, I, will you watch Jai Yong play Overwatch on Twitch? Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not good. All you're going to see me is like rage at, at people when it's probably my fault that we are losing kind of thing. <laughs> So, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I want to start exercising again because, you know, I'm pretty sure by the time all of this is down, it's not even my birthday yet and I will need to do IPPT again. <laughs> so, 
I probably <laughs> need the exercise. Do and your ring feet again. Yeah, so... <laughs> have you finished the entire quest? No, I haven't. And that's the thing. Then so for it. ring fit, I had like a very strong two-month kind of streak. Oh, streak. streak. Wasn't it yeah, 100 days or something? I feel like yeah, it was yeah, yeah, a yeah. super Oh long yeah, it was time. 100 days. It was like three months. Yeah, it was crazy. But that was because I thought that if I didn't continue, the streak would end. And I couldn't <laughs> let the streak end. And the further I went in means like, you know, I can't let it end. But there was just this one day where I was just feeling very bad. So uh-huh. I didn't do anything. And then the next day when I got back, I was like, oh shit, I'm going to see the, the, the streak at one again. But it was still at 100 plus. And then I realized the streak just continues regardless of whether or not you stop. Oh. So it just counts the number of time you actually play. And so I was like, okay, then I don't really need to play. So we can feed back to Nintendo to like fix this. Yeah, make it more punishing, you know, get rid of the streak. No, don't you, don't you like that the streak is still alive? No, I don't. I absolutely hate it because it feels oh, like a yeah. lie now. It, is a it feels lie. like yeah, exactly. It's not really a streak, you know. Words have meaning, Amanda. Words have <laughs> okay. meaning. I on the other hand, cause y'all gave me a ring fit when right, I left right, right, the lab. Yeah. I yeah. I use it like once a week. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but like not very long, like maybe twenty minutes of novice level. <laughs> No, but I, I, I feel better like anything nothing. is better. better yeah, than exactly. Bet- yes. Better than what I'm doing now, which is nothing. <laughs> yes, so thanks for the ring fit. No worries. No worries. <laughs> okay, Amanda? so I guess me. So I actually started this uh, new workout regimen. It's, uh, it's a basketball thing. Uh-huh. It's called the Vert Code. It's actually... <sighs> do you just... <laughs> Excuse Please me. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyway, it's, it's this thing called vert code. It's actually a lot of scientific-based research on... Wait, how do you spell VR, it? Vertical and code, like C-O-D. Okay. So vert code. It's okay. um, by this guy called Paul Favorites, I think PJF Performance. So he's a strength and conditioning coach for a lot of NBA and basketball players. Okay. And actually, this workout is supposed to improve your vertical, which is how high you can jump. Right, but okay. uh, I read a lot of reviews that also said that it will improve your footwork and your like overall basketball, I don't know, playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 as I said previously, like, I'm, I'm actually a netball player like from when I was younger, but yeah. it's so difficult to switch over to basketball. So I'm trying though, because it's really hard to play netball with people because you need a lot of people. Right, right, right. Whereas like basketball, you can just go by yourself and shoot or you can just have an even number of people. Or even if you have odd numbers, you can still play somehow. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I started that, but the, the first week I was so enthusiastic, but yeah, now I'm kind of drifting off maybe once a week only <laughs> you're supposed to do it five times a week though what? but yeah there was no way I would be able to yeah so it's okay I, I think it's like baby steps for me and yeah yeah so that's what I've started not because of lockdown but it just so happened that yeah so that's what I've been doing remember there was this period of time where we were like exercising three times a oh, week in yeah. class as in and I feel like that was my peak that was. healthiness after <laughs> army <laughs> That was, it was good. so good. We used to work out together. And then COVID together. just ruined everything. We, oh, we use Nike Training Club. So if anyone out there is looking for a free right, yes. workout app, actually Nike Training Club is so good. I've been using it since 2015, I think. It's completely free. Yeah. And yeah, the, yeah. I really like the interface and the workouts yeah. that they have. They have such a variety now. So yeah, you can check it out. Yeah, you can yeah, choose yeah, yeah. like timing and what kind of exercise. Yeah. What kind of muscle you're Do you want target? endurance yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. high intensity, low intensity, um, strength? Mm. Yeah, and it's um you can do it with or without equipment. I think that's yeah. the biggest thing for me because I don't like going to the gym. Yes, so, I yeah. I don't have equipment. And there's like the whole countdown, yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. just play it, and then it will count down for you. And then throughout the say one minute of squats, they will tell you, oh, you should feel it here, and this is the the correct way to do it because you don't have a trainer, right? Yeah. So it's actually really good. I I really yeah. like it. So that's what I would recommend for people who want something that mm. is free and that is actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the biggest part is you can do it at yes. any level. So they will ask you for your fitness level and how you generally regard your fitness. How many times a fitness. week do you usually work out? And yeah, and then they would recommend. Um, what type of exercises yeah that's know? what we so used to do together as well <laughs> but we don't do it anymore <laughs> so I guess no matter what we're doing it's like 
what people have said in the previous circuit breaker like just do whatever you want <laughs> don't feel yes. like true 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 like yeah, yeah just yeah, do yeah. you like don't feel like you know other people are exercising more or other people are doing whatever whatever that you need to follow up you true. need to match up yeah. I think like just everyone's having their fair share of stuff fair share of issues yeah. and just yeah just do and just stay whatever safe. makes you happy you know be responsible yes stay safe stay, stay safe do you yes. in a responsible <laughs> manner and as usual follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel a like and a comment would really help us out you can also follow us on our social media Instagram, Twitter or Facebook feel free to DM us any questions alternatively you can email us at thelabdoctors at gmail.com if you like this podcast, please share it with your friends and family. We would really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Let bye. us know if you like this <laughs> format. <laughs>